The Bay Area is honoring the life of the legendary Reverend Cecil Williams, the pastor, community leader, and social justice activist, is the co-founder of San Francisco's Glide Memorial Church. As John Ramos reports, he made his mark giving back to communities in need. It's fitting that the final tribute for Cecil Williams should spill out here into the street and not just be confined to a church, because he never was. Cecil Williams often compared his life to a jazz song, so it was fitting that his memorial tribute was led off by a Dixieland jazz band leading the famous Glide Ensemble up the aisle. 60 years ago, he knew that to transform people's lives, you gotta have some music. San Francisco first heard the music in 1963 when Cecil took over a struggling Glide Methodist church. He brought powerful music to the Tenderloin, attracting young people with a hip style and his signature call of right on. Right on really means... <laughs> right on really, really means that you are in the world and you understand what's happening in that world and you relate to it, baby. That world saw him first as a radical and later as a respected civil rights leader, taking up causes that always ended up on the right side of history. Gay rights, AIDS compassion, apartheid, war, whatever the issue, he and his longtime partner, the late Janice Miracatani, were not afraid to take to the streets for their beliefs. Dr. Angela Davis, another fiery 1960s activist leader, spoke of the true power of the couple. In doing this work, Cecil and Jan always stood on the front lines against racism, against homophobia, against occupation, against war. They always stood for love. And later, when homelessness and poverty took over the Tenderloin, he showed that love again by becoming a leading voice and source of comfort for the down and out. Outside the memorial service, Marvin Cox enjoyed yet another meal provided by Glide. Everybody is focused on themselves, yes, but when you come up out of that, that means you must be a heck of a guy. That's why they just helping each other so we all can uh, uh, prosper. And Back inside, the politically powerful sat in attendance as they listened to Cecil's daughter Kimberly sum up her father's legacy. His life was and still is a profound and powerful demonstration of living one's purpose and truth with conviction and commitment. Cecil is still reverberating and echoing like a musical note that lives and vibrates inside of me and in all of us. Always the theme was music. Cecil knew its power to capture people's attention and imagination and to make them believe that a better world is possible. And that's what he talked about in his final interview with me at his 90th birthday celebration in 2019. I've always talked about changing the world. And, and I, I really believe that we have touched many people from all over the world. So with music as a symbol of a life spent helping others, Cecil takes that jazz song with him on his next journey. I